Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about Lesser Antillian Iguana. The Lesser Antillian Iguana, or Iguana Delicatissima, is a large arboreal lizard endemic to the Lesser Antilles. It is one of the two species of lizards of the genus Iguana and is in severe decline due to habitat destruction, feral predators hunting and hybridization with its sister species, the green iguana. Successful captive breeding of this species has been limited to only two instances as most captive laid eggs tend to be infertile. Another common name for it is the West Indian iguana. The generic name iguana is derived from iguana, a Spanish form of the Taino name for the species. The lesser until iguana has a more blocky, shortened face uh, than the green iguana and lacks the distinctive stripe pattern present along the green iguana's tail. Uh, the feature that most easily distinguishes these two species is the large round scale uh, than the green iguana has below each ear hole, but uh, which uh, the lesser Antillian iguana lacks. The lesser Antillian iguana varies in color between different island populations, but the base color tends to be gray with green splotching on the underside. Males are larger than females and are about 16 inches or 40 centimeters long with an 32 inches or 80 centimeters tail when full grown. Females are two thirds this size. Lesser Antillian iguanas are primarily herbivores, feeding on leaves, flowers, fruit and growing shoots of upwards of 100 different species of plant. This presents a problem uh, for asthma regulation. Vegetable uh, matter contains more potassium and has less nutritional content per gram, so more must be eaten to meet the animal's metabolic needs. And like most reptiles, lesser antillian iguanas are not capable of creating liquid urine more concentrated than their bodily fluids. Like birds, uh, they uh, excrete nitrogenous waste as urate cells through a specially evolved nasal salt gland. As a result, the iguanas have this lateral nasal gland to supplement renal salt secretion by expelling excess potassium and sodium chloride. Lesser until an iguana is a vulnerable species and is found on the IUCN red list. The lesser until an iguana is legally protected from hunting throughout its range, but enforcement of these regulations is extremely difficult and therefore limited. Other threats include habitat loss to agriculture and development and introduction of feral predators such as ducks, cats and the moon goose. And that's basically it for Lesson Antillian Iguana facts. If you like this video please take a moment and comment below, watch other videos on our channel and subscribe to our channel as well.